Me, I'm gonna die. <laughs> ah! Don't lick me! This is Pinny Pusha. Hi, Pinny Pusha. Hi, Pinny Pusha. Say hi, Hiki. Penny. Penny. What are you doing, Pinny Pusha? No. What are you doing, Pinny Pusha? No. What are you No. You're so hiki. So today's video is going to be a quick look and I'm going to be using a handful of products today. Most of them are from the Ipsy bag and then other products that um, I need to complete the look. So now uh, I'm going to obviously be talking throughout this whole video, but the, one of the benefits of, of being subscribed to um, a subscription service, especially Ipsy, is that they do give you um, like full size, also tester sizes, so like this would be like the travel size. So different sizes will come in the bag, and I'm, I mean, not to, oh, Lord have mercy, not to, like, you know, make a commercial or anything like that, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying the plus side of having this mini or travel size is that they're perfect for travel. <laughs> I'm like, where, where am I going there with that? Oh, with travel, because I have been traveling, and that's the first thing that I go for. I put these in, like, a shoe box, so... Like for example, this professional from Benefit Cosmetics. It's um, one of those poor minimizing um, products, and this is the size of it. So now, if you do enjoy it, instead of you know packing your full size, you'll pack the small size, and just helps with um, you know uh, flight regulations and stuff like that. Because I know you can only fit all your liquids in a quart size bag, and that's like a headache having to jam pack everything in there, and it's perfect having to um, pack things are this small. Anyways, back to the tutorial. Okay. I'm going to start by using this um, Healthy Sexy Hair Leave-In Conditioner, and it looks like this. So next, I'm going to be using these wipes. These are the Makeup Cleansing Tissues by A Absolute. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And I'm only going to use these to First of all, moisten my face, but really try to get any of the dirt and leftover makeup that I had on my face earlier. I really like that they're not abrasive. I hate towelettes that are abrasive. Did you just poop? Excuse me. Okay, I got some some of my nastiness. I don't know if you can see like a tint of brown on there. Um, I got some of my makeup off that I had just lingering around. Next, I'm going to be using this Nourish Organic um, Lightweight Moisturizer, and this is just a face lotion. It says it has Moroccan Argan Oil, so why not? It hydrates and replenishes. Let's give it a go. Looks like it might be roses or peaches. Not too sure. Let's, let's give it a whirl. Doesn't smell like very much. I'm going to take a little bit of Max Pro Longwear Concealer, and then my nasty bottle looks like this. I should actually not waste this one and clean this guy up, because it was grosso. Ugh. Yikes! Okay, so I'm going to pump a little bit on the back of my hand, like a soul, and then take a little bit... Oh starting to run. Take a little bit of that face lotion together and then do a little swirl guy with my kabuki brush from Sigma and then go right underneath my eyes. I'm going to brighten up my face but then also even out my complexion at the same time. This is pretty much what you would be doing but using your foundation instead of your concealer but as you can see my sleepless nights are so apparent, so I want to really use that concealer underneath my eyes. Next, I'm moving on to my lips. I'm going to be using this Mica Beauty Cosmetic in the color Natural. This is one of their uh, tinted lip balms, and this is what the packaging looks like. 
color is actually a really nice color. Um, and it's got a built-in brush. I'm just going to use my finger because I'm a gorilla. <laughs> just going to add that color to my lips. The next product I'm going to be using is by Elizabeth Mott. And this is a smooth eyeshadow. I think this is like one of their gel pencils. And it is in the color Pearl. And you can use this as an eyeshadow or an eyeliner. So I'm just going to be adding it here on the inner corners of my eyes. Because I need some help pretending that I'm awake. So right on the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, now to add some color to my face. Not too much color. What the heck? Not too much color because I don't want to have to take off too much makeup when I have to go to my next session. So I'm just going to be using this baked bronzer from Lorac and using an angled brush from Sigma Makeup and just putting that right in the hollows of my cheeks, slimming down my face a bit and adding a little bit of sun-kissed color to my cheeks as well. Now you can put this all over your damn face if you want to, so let's do it. Let's do it on the hairline. And there, right on the sides of my nose. Let's just do it up, girl. It's like that. I am going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil. This is the Brow Wiz in Brunette. It's one of my favorites. Not too long ago, I used their brow or dip brow, and it was way too intense for me. I think I still have to play with it because I just don't have the hang of it yet. Really light strokes. Filling in all of the bald spots I have on my eyebrows. And then using the wand on the other side to just really blend it in. Then to finish the look, I'm going to be adding two coats of the Voluminous Million Lashes by L'Oreal Paris. And in no time, you are ready to live your life until your next training session, which is like literally in like four hours. Probably less than that. I have to go pick up Jude. I have to uh, take him to the park because I promised him. And hit up the jujitsu gym because I've got training for an hour. So, yeah! I had to wash my hair and I'm actually impressed by the healthy, sexy hair leave-in conditioner because my hair is not <laughs> status. It was really wicked this morning after yoga because, I don't know, you're like in a sauna for an hour and a half and my hair turns dreadlocks. So I needed some love that I don't want to keep having to, to blow dry it, then go get sweaty, and then blow dry it after I wash it again. So like too much going on with my hair, but I just didn't want to be a sweaty grease ball for whoever I have to roll with. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget all the products that I use in this video will be in the description box down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.